Hello all and welcome to this uh, series of Awingu technical videos. In this uh, videos we will show you how to set up an Awingu installation. Um, let me start with in this first video to introduce you to the Awingu architecture. So as you can see the Awingu architecture consists out of three um, uh, layers. The client layer which is the, the web browser, uh, the Awingu layer itself and then the backend layer. Awingu itself it's a virtual appliance that you can install on any kind of infrastructure. So it can be installed on-premise on, on uh, VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, OpenStack, Nutanix, or any other uh, infrastructure that supports these kinds of uh, virtual images. And uh, in cloud, we have deployments available on most common cloud platforms like Azure, Amazon, Google, Alibaba Cloud, and uh, so on and so on. From a client point of view, uh, the only thing you would need for an Awingu installation is a web browser. So any web browser which is capable of doing an HTML5 connection is, uh, is sufficient. Uh, there is no need for any plugins or any uh, extensions. Everything works 100% uh, from in the web browser. And towards the backend, uh, Awingu also doesn't need any software installation. Uh, we connect towards existing backend infrastructure via uh, protocols like LDAP for user authentication, RDP for um, accessing remote applications or desktops, and SIFs for accessing uh, files. The Awingu uh, layer itself, eh, as said before, it's a, it's a virtual appliance. You can install one or multiple appliances together. Uh, it can be scaled. It is, it is one of the videos we will also discuss uh, later on, on on scaling. But it also comes with an extra bunch of uh, functionality like multi-factor authentication, SSL overloading. Uh, there is extensive auditing capabilities. And also Awingu is uh, multi-tenant. In this series of videos, we will go uh, into more details of uh, all these uh, steps.